It's okay, it's a new deep motion video here. It was around one year ago I did test it and today I'm gonna test it again because they did message me uh, that they have updated the accurate, uh, more smarter AI. So this is gonna be very fun to test. I did make it for maybe one year ago, a video about that. And it was really good. On the video I said that maybe some small accurate problem uh, so this is gonna be very fun to test and of course I want to thanks deep motion for letting me use the pro account uh, pro account I'm gonna put here and I'm gonna put on description if you want to uh, read about the pro account uh, they have said I can say anything about uh, the result it's gonna be if I don't like it I can say that if it's not accurate then I can say that. So this is not gonna be fake or anything. I'm gonna say exactly like my first video. If I don't like it, I'm gonna say that. If it's good, I'm gonna say that. So yeah, let's start. I have logged into Deep Motion website and I did see they have fits a little bit more character models here. You can create your own avatar. So yeah, I'm gonna fix that little bit fast. That was really cool. Yeah, now the character is fixed. Now we're gonna try to upload and test how accurate Deep Motion has been. Uh, they have some uh, new settings here. Example foot locking, you can use on auto, never, always, and grounding. That's something new if I remember right. They didn't, uh, they didn't have a grounding before. So we're gonna try use that. Oh. The, this is something new if it's working or face tracking turn to track basic facial expression yeah here they gonna they gonna say about uh, if you're confirm this it's gonna take three seconds out of 1500 seconds they're gonna say exactly the information here start the job so this animation, I'm making some uh, funny kicks. Okay, let's see here. I can say that the animation is really good. Okay, the... I understand that I should stay a little bit, uh, change my angle so it can uh, make the legs more accurate but if we're looking on the front it looks really good to be honest looks really good uh, but i know it's my problem because uh, i shall have uh, a better angel here so it can see my legs going out but to be honest that this looks really good it looks very smooth and I have uh, put everything on grounding when I'm making these clips. So yeah, this looks really good. Uh, but yeah, got some problem here. But uh, like always, it's uh, my standing. Uh, it's very hard for the AI to see the accurate uh, on. Yeah, I needed to change the angle. Here's gonna be third animation. Here I'm making some simple boxing moves. It looks very smooth. It's uh, let's see here. It's very accurate. Yeah, uh, it's it's the same here. If we look look in front of it, it's very good. Uh, and that I said, um, the angle gets problem with the AI and I, I can understand that because it doesn't really understand sometimes if I'm pushing it forward. But to be honest, it looks very accurate to be honest. This is very easy to fix in example a 3D program like Blender. I will say it has been very good updates on this animation like a uh, motion capture the ai it's much smarter right now the boxing looks yeah the boxing looks the knees looks really good the elbow looks really good so yeah great 
It's very good. Here's the next animation. Oh, I, I put a wrong character here. But yeah, here I'm playing with the gun. Or well, I'm not sure how I'm gonna uh, make animation for this, but yeah, m maybe I shouldn't hold the hands like that. But uh, it's same here. Uh, still, the accurate is quite good, uh, but uh, the AI don't really understand why I'm holding like that. I guess. But if you're adding a gun there, I guess it's gonna look really good. But sure. Just some small accurate. Maybe I just should have one hand. I'm not sure why I'm holding like that, but yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, some uh, hand problem. Uh, but it's same here. Uh, it doesn't really understand what I'm doing, holding the hand together. Okay, let's look on the last animation here. Here I'm just jumping around and that you can see this is very accurate and I really understand why because uh, here is very clear what I'm doing for the AI. It see that they see the arm, uh, yeah it's seeing everything so if you're putting everything forward the camera or maybe too close with things it's very hard for the AI to understand uh, how to accurate everything. So yeah, if you're doing this kind of things like uh, showing the AI a lot of space, like not having to close everything, the hands and that, it's gonna be really really good. Uh, deep motion have improved the accurate a lot. Maybe it's still some problems, uh, but same time it's my problem too because sometimes I choose bad angle to making some things too fast or too close to everything but I will say that deep motion is really really good use if you want to make animation for your game development uh, like it's great for cinematics I will say it's really really worth to try you can even use it for free you can test it uh, but uh, if you're using example pro account uh, yeah it says like if you want to use a professional account uh, you can upload a lot more, create more animations uh, per month. Uh, you can see on the description, I'm gonna add in the description, you can see the difference with free and pro account. But yeah, you, you can uh, test it if you want. You can add it to Unity, Unreal or uh, which engine you're using, even Blender if you want to use it uh, for cinematics. So, but if you like this, remember thumb up and of course you can even subscribe if you want. If you want to see other software or yeah, something like that. But yeah, I want to say have a great day. Do it now or I'll hunt you down. Smash like.